Hey guys, welcome back to the Korean Keto Guy channel. And in today's episode, I've got a classic, classic Korean dish called samgyeopsal, or in English, um, pork belly, right? Pork belly with lettuce. And here we go. Oh boy, I'm really excited because, you know, not only is it keto friendly, but it's it's like, you know, it's like you, you haven't had Korean food until you've actually had samgyeopsal, right? This pork belly with lettuce wraps, right? Look at this, I mean, um, you can buy this, I mean, of course, if you go to the restaurant, right, they'll cook it for you and you can do it that way, but you can make it at home too, right, which is what I did. I actually just got the pork belly from H Mart. <laughs> I feel like I'm, you know, I basically just use H Mart for everything, but I got this from H Mart. And of course, you can get these lettuce, like look at this, these type of lettuce wraps or romaine lettuce, whatever it's called, at a grocery store. I actually just got this at my local local grocery store here in New York City. So super easy to find. Um, and of course, I also have some side dishes. So I have the peppers, if you guys remember. Um, I'll probably put a link to the video when I did the, the, the side dishes videos. I have the peppers with the soybean paste or tenjang and kochu still left over from the last video. And who can forget kimchi, right? How can you not have kimchi with this type of dish so i've got the normal normal style of kimchi ready to go and i would say even more maybe even more importantly i've got <coughs> excuse me the two kind of like sauces right i don't know um i think sauce is the best word to use it's basically i made this right so it's this one is a mixture of gochujang and samjang right so normally people just use a sauce called samjang which is like kind of like soybean paste and they use it to make their wraps which i'm about to do in a minute but i mix mine with gochujang too right the red pepper paste just because it you know it makes it a little spicier i kind of like it spicy so that's what that is and last but not least this sauce i would say is a staple for a lot of korean dishes it's it's changiram or Sesame oil, it's just sesame oil with some salt, with some salt in it. You can put pepper or whatever, it's got a little bit of pepper, but that's all it is. Just simple salt and pepper if you're kind of a simple person. But yeah, that being said, I just came back from my workout, super hungry, about to break my fast. Um, always really excited to eat, especially in front of you all. So let's, let's give it a try here. So I'm gonna position this, so I think the best way to position this is put the wraps here the kimchi over here, put the lids over there. All right, I think this is the way, best way to position it. So what you do, right, whether you're at the restaurant or at home, you grab some lettuce, just like this. Uh oh. Not as clean. <laughs> Make sure you clean and wash these, right? You take a few lettuce wraps. I, I'm per, I'm very liberal with my lettuce wraps. I put more lettuce than, than um, the normal. You take a piece of meat, right? Put it right in there. In this case, some of that samjang mixed with gochujang. And I have a few pieces of roasted garlic that I made and put it in here. So garlic is a must if you have it. Let's wrap it up. You can use your chopsticks to kind of help you fold it. And you got to do this in one bite. You got to do it in one bite. Ready? Here we go. Chan mo kisunida. Perfect. Just absolutely mm, amazing. And I normally don't really eat like this at home, right? Just for you all, I'm, I'm doing this, so this is a treat for me. Mm. If you want, you can always just dip it in. Mm. Right into the paste. Mmm. Yeah. 
pěkná pesmová kimči. Mm. You can put some kimchi in this as well. You can basically put whatever you want, but I like to kind of make, play around with it. But the musts I just showed you, right? The, the pork belly, the, the paste, a piece of garlic. Those are the musts. Use a chopstick to help you fold. And then of course, one bite again. Mm. Pepper. Mm. Man, these green peppers. Mm. Basically, if you go to any Korean restaurant, they're gonna have these green peppers with the soybean paste and garlic. <clears throat> Actually, they're gonna have all of this. It'd be very weird to go to a Korean restaurant that at any Korean restaurant is so good. Hmm. But yeah, as I was saying, I think <clears throat> actually, if you go to a Korean restaurant, you'll probably find there'll probably be way more side dishes than just this. This is just like the minimum. Ooh, let's try some of this sesame oil. I forgot we even had it. Some people like this. Hmm. Oh my god. Hmm. I forgot I put a little too much salt in that. <laughs> it's really good though. Mmm. All right, let's make another wrap. Some kimchi, just a little bit, garlic. Oops, some samgyang. Help use your chopsticks to help fold it. Mmm. This is great. Mm. Mm. 
this is just great. Like, I mean, you really definitely need to try this if you ever go to a Korean restaurant. I would say go to a Korean restaurant first to try it and then you can realize or <clears throat> figure out how they're making it and you can just do it at home. This time it's bit two pieces. Oh, that's too big. Let's put some garlic. A little piece of kimchi. Hmm. I was so hungry. <laughs> That last, last, that last lettuce wrap was a little too big, <clears throat> but yeah, the little one, mix it in with the big one. Get a big piece, more sauce, mm. garlic. <clears throat> Another piece of pork belly. Mm. <laughs> so good. And in terms of, <clears throat> excuse me, in terms of how keto friendly this is, this is like ultimate. This is probably the ultimate keto friendly dish that's Korean that you can eat as much and not feel guilty because <clears throat> it's literally just lettuce, lettuce, pork belly, fermented cabbage, kimchi, right? <clears throat> Sesame oil, garlic, even the paste, right? These paste. <clears throat> You're not eating like tablespoons at a time, right? You're just using a little bit. <clears throat> mm. Now what's funny is, uh oh, <clears throat> I'm kind of running out of cabbage. I mean lettuce. Make a little one here. I have a funny. I was gonna say something really funny after this one bite. <clears throat> Garlic. 
like Mm -hmm, dip it like this. Oh. Mm. Mm, man. Mm. This is seriously very good. And of course, <clears throat> I need to get better at this, but I'm running out of, I'm basically running out of lettuce. This always happens. Something runs out versus the other. And now they're getting really tiny. So that's why you can just kind of dip it like this, right? Mmm. Mmm. Uh oh, they're getting really small. Oh no. No more garlic. Okay. Well. <clears throat> oh, the funny story, man. See, this is so good. I can't. <clears throat> I don't want to stop eating. Mm. Hold on. Okay, it's getting really small. Look at that little one. Last wrap, guys. Mm. <clears throat> now definitely one advantage if you're at the restaurant <clears throat> you can just order more like you know more lettuce please or more sang chu or hey i'm out of manner you know or garlic can you please bring me more obviously you can't do it here but <clears throat> oh yeah the funny story real quick and it's funny because i used to eat this as a kid right and my mom would make it and but I would eat with the rice. The thing is, you would, I would eat bowls and bowls of rice. So it's crazy to think that I don't even think about the rice anymore. But, you know, and then little did I know that this turned out to be one of the most keto friendly things you could eat as an adult. But yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, definitely, if you did, right, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel if you like this type of stuff. I'm gonna keep uploading videos just like this for you all. And, right, until the next episode, I hope you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, and thank you again for watching.